Okay, so we gotta see who these people are that are apparently harassing the town. What's the name of the quest? Unfriendly Persuasion. Here we go. They're straight ahead. Who's this asshole? Doesn't look like NCR. Norton. Our business is with the muties, not you. Here are your mercenaries. Will caps make you go? Or what do you want with Jacob's town? Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. That's fucked up. Who are you doing this for? Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. Huh. Alright, well caps make you go We're away. We're still owed half. 2,500 caps. You dick. Pay up and we'll be on our way. If you're short, maybe you can get the money from the muties. I'll just give it to them, fuck it. A deal's a deal. We'll be on our way. Fuck out of here. I have enough caps, it doesn't matter at all. Alright. That was easy enough. I'm filthy freaking rich. I have no problem spending caps to do a little mission like that. Something on your mind? There we go. You don't have any trouble with them anymore. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. All right. Pretty decent reward, 275. I didn't level up up close, though. What's the story with Keen? Smart, charismatic, hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Hmm. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Why does he want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Hmm. So what happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Yeah. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. All right, and then you're a mutant too. Why won't he listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. So, we gotta try to solve the problem, right? The Nightkin problem, and then maybe he won't leave. That's the whole point. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> let's get to this cave and chop up some Night Stalkers. And then I believe, if I remember correctly, I'm remembering the quests here. I think that we do end up getting the Stealth Boy Mark II. We have to put it on Lily. Lily is, uh, tests it out. And then, when, uh... And then after that, we basically solve everything for the town, and everyone here likes us. So, basically the whole point of this game is you're trying to recruit people to help you in the final fight at Hoover Dam. You're trying to get good karma with everyone, so everyone will be on your side when there's a big melee fight at Hoover Dam. Or not much as melee, but they use guns and everything else, too. Okay. I don't know if this trail here in the snow. Pretty cool, because up to now, like, there's no snow in Fallout, you know? The only snow there was, if you remember, there was a DLC for the Fallout 3 that was, uh... It's like the war, the Chinese invasion or whatever in Alaska. And so you're playing as some of the troops from then, trying to defend, uh, the Al somewhere in Alaska from the Chinese. But outside of that, there's no real snow. So this was a cool location in New Vegas to, to have a mountain like this. It's funny now, though, because now Fallout 4 is going to be in Boston. Boston, Massachusetts, where there's regularly tons of snow. So it could be pretty interesting to see how that turns out. 
Here it is. Look, a little heart. A hollowed out rock. Charleston Cave. Here we go. What do we have inside? I'll tell you what we have inside. A whole lot of darkness. I can't see shit. Hold on. There we go. It's Nightkin chopping time. Not Nightkin, excuse me. Night Stalker chopping time. There's one right there. Grandma needs a bigger paddle. I leveled up from killing one. Wow. Well, you remember what I said, right? I just want to max out my lockpick. Now I can do everything. Good. Now I should either focus on a little bit of speech. I'm going to do a little bit of speech. There we go. Alright, so all these we already had previously, right? Yeah, these are all perks I already had previously. Anything new? Let's look down here. A voracious reader. You don't just read books, you tear into them. Damaged books, you pick up a blank magazines, which you could use to copy your existing skill magazines at a workbench. That's interesting. Your attacks do much less damage to companions, allowing you to liberally spray an area with reckless ambition. Anytime you sleep, you remove all your raz in addition to regaining all of your health. In hardcore mode, you still don't regain health, but you'll lose 100 rad. That's lame. So that would have been good if I wasn't playing in hardcore mode. Any living creature you kill has 50% chance to drop the good food. Hmm. That might be good. Them's good eating. Debating doing that. Atomic could be good, but then I have to be radioactive. Tag perk could be good. Put 15 points into another skill. Huh. Fifty percent less likely to have addictions. That could be good. Fast metabolism's okay. I'm not gonna do here and now. Stonewall, eh. 25% resistance to rads. Rad resistance. I don't care about recycling ammunition. I don't care about entomologist. I could do swift learner again. Intense training, I can put an extra point into something, right? Hmm. I'm gonna go for this. Them's good eating. Nothing here. So every enemy I kill has a chance to drop really good. Oh, good shit. A chance to drop good food. Which means I won't have to loot food anymore at all. Ammo box. Microfusion cells. I'm at 98 lockpick skill because I don't have enough inventory. Remember, if I don't have enough inventory, it weighs me. It, uh, nerfs me. So I need to actually have more inventory to have full locksmith skill, which is silly, but okay. Damn, there's all these different paths. I'm gonna get lost. I already am freaking lost. 
bones, tons of bones. Look, dead people. I don't see anything in here. <clears throat> gotta keep going down. Okay, we gotta remember there's an alternate path at the very beginning I didn't check out yet. What the shit? Oh, great. Well, once again, a super mutant is obviously naturally rad resistant. I'm not, so... Oh, I should probably put on the helmet, too. Oops. There we go. This way. only have blood and tail. Damn, I got my leg got fucked up. Which sucks. Eh, I'll, I'll take a stim pack. Got enough of them. Ah. The rebar club and a chewed stealth boy. I'll take that. The old baby! Huh. So the potential cause for the night stalker mutation is that they killed a nightkin. They were eating the nightkin, I guess, huh? I think I just found an amazing weapon, by the way. Oh, baby. Look at it. Look at the regular super sledge. DPS of 107. Damage of 77. The old baby, DPS of 135, damage of 87 is better. It's a, it's a, it's basically a rare version of the Super Sledge, so I'm glad I did this mission. Holy shit. And I better use a doctor's bag, I guess. Here we go. Alright, so we got our answer. The Nikin were eating... Or the night, the the night stalkers were eating a nightkin. What is this? Sheesh! Did a backflip. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. These things fuck me up, man. Take another stim pack. I'll take a sunset sesperella too. Because my legs fucked up. I just healed it too. Annoying bullshit. What's in this cave? Anything else? Nothing. Eh. Uh oh. Where? Where? He's stuck. Eddie's taking care of him. He's fucking stuck. He can't even move. Look. Shot the shit out of him. He's stuck on the wall. Oh, we're back to the beginning, so... 
There we are. Okay, let's go back then. That was easy. It all looped around. There's the bed to sleep in, but my limbs fucked up. So much for the Night Stalkers. Not that big of a deal. Hold on, what's this way? I didn't go to the left. Oh, it's a dead end. I already checked it. That's right. Yes, I did. Never mind. Alright, back to Jacobstown. The oh baby! Oh, it's beautiful out here now. Look at this. It's a beautiful day! <clears throat> wow. That was a dated song. Like fucking 15 years old or some shit. Back when you 2 used to actually make music. Remember that? No? Well, I do, because I'm old enough. I remember. Touch me. Feel me. Stroke me. Blow me. Okay, that wasn't the actual lyrics, but... That was from Batman Forever, I think. Batman Forever. Back when that was a new movie. Oh, yeah. I, was a, I guess that was a long time ago, wasn't it? God damn it. Those were the days! When I went and saw Batman Forever in the theater, those were the days. Yeah, right. The movie stunk. Guess we gotta go around. And certainly not to say that the like Batman Returns wasn't a weird movie. Batman Forever, and then Batman and Robin, oh my god. Terra bad. Thank goodness someone took up the reins of Batman l much later. Chris Nolan did a good job with it. Well, except for a few silly things like Bane's voice and Batman always having, like, throat cancer or whatever the hell caused him to talk all gravelly and shit. Those are nitpicky things, though. Come on. How dare you? Marcus is all happy. He's got pep in his step. I'm limping. Look. Oh, 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 oh. How the hell did a night a night stalker bite through my fucking armor, dude? That's such horse shit. Uh. By the way, where the hell are Lily and Eddie? They got stuck somewhere. Look, they're not even following me. All right, whatever. Let's go inside. You know they'll appear magically. Whatever. Whatever. See, told you they'd reappear magically. Is there something else I can do for you? Here we go. I found a chewed up stealth boy in the Night Stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for right. the Night King. So it's worthless. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Why Lily and not another night can? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. What are the risks of the experiment? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II's never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition. And the experiment will likely make things worse for her. So he's gonna fry her brain. I'll talk to Lily then. So I need to talk to her about it. Here we go. My, but that lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. And how would you know? We haven't been there. Alright, uh... You wanna help Dr. Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, 
but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. All right, she's going already. Okay. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Yeah, let's do it. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Okay. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. But good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Don't feel like it's standing on scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Huh? Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Billy. Oh, I liked having it on. <laughs> no, of course you did. I'll get back to you on that in a moment. Once I've analyzed the results. Uh -oh. uh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over. All right, enough My of this. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. What are you planning to do once you have the specs? There are caches of stealth boys out there. With a Mark II in hand, it shouldn't be difficult to upgrade every one of them. The Mark II's are even more dangerous than the standard stealth boys. <clears throat> Our lives our decision to make we're tired of sitting around in jacob's town waiting for a cure i'm oh man i need speech of 80 there's no way i could do this you're not getting those specs why are you here didn't work i knew humans could never be reasonable i knew it stupid stupid humans i'll kill you what you I didn't want to do this. That sucked. I didn't know this was gonna erupt into a combat. So let's try auto say or the auto say or the auto load here. Try to redo it. I gotta try to wait to defuse uh, wait to defuse it without having high enough speech, which I'm not even close. I wonder what happens if you give him the specs. You know, here I'll save and we'll try some different things and see what happens. Try some different scenarios. Okay.